This is our CTE director for the county. This is Mr. Jonathan Phillips. His office is here at the Tech School, but he is not just over the Tech School. He's also over all the career tech classes in the county. Your ag classes and family and consumer science and business classes are also under, doc, under Mr. Phillips. He will soon be Dr. Phillips. He's going back to school for that. Um, and he is the director for the county for all CTE. His assistant is Mr. Joey Heyman. Uh, he is also acts as principal here at the Tech School. And his office is in the back of the big office at the front of the building. When you come in the clear double doors, which I think you will be coming in a different door because of uh, the situation with social distancing, but you'll be going out those big doors. That front office is where all these folks will be found, most of them. This is Miss Jo Poole. She is our bookkeeper. Uh, she handles all the money, so you will need to see her from time to time. Uh, if you have any problems paying your fees, if you have a situation, maybe your parents are out of work or something has happened over the summer that you're afraid you may not be able to pay your fees. Now we're going to be on a delayed payment plan with fees anyway, uh, but if you have problems with that, as soon as you can, you need to let Miss Jo or myself know so that we can get you some assistance. We have uh, different folks from year to year that, that help us with that. So let us know if that's an issue. This is Miss Alice, Miss Alice Durham, and she is our um, receptionist. She also is, it will be in the snack store. You, one of the first places you're gonna go when you get here is to the snack store. And she will be working in there as well. This is Miss April Phillips, very important person this year. She's our school nurse. Um, she will have an office set up across from the snack store uh, with a room where that she can uh, isolate folks if need be if we have some people with symptoms and that sort of thing and also keep them separate from other folks that just need to see the nurse for normal reasons. This is Mr. Darren Carter. He is our custodian maintenance guy. He will also be uh, helping with the snack store as well so you'll see him around if you need anything done, uh, fixed or cleaned or whatever you just holler at Mr. Carter. This is Miss Stacy White. She is the aide in the cosmetology class. We have very large numbers in cosmetology so she helps out in there but she also helps with the snack store as well. This is our SRO, Officer Josh Wigley. And his office is also, he, he is at that front desk there in the big office, so if you need him, you should be able to locate him there. And this is Dr. Amy Dyer, who is uh, over Cooperative Education, which is otherwise known as the work program. She has an office behind Miss Carol's room, who is healthcare too. And uh, usually she's out in the schools, but if you need her, uh, usually if she's gonna be here, she'll be in that office. All right, this is me, counselor, and I have a few things that you need to know. Now this slide presentation will be on uh, my Google Classroom. If you'll see on the bottom, the Google Classroom code for me is 53K2COD. When you go into your Google account, into Google Classroom, you go up to the plus sign, click add or join a class, click join and put in this code. Now my Google Classroom will be a lot nicer than everybody else's Google Classroom because I will only be assigning you things to read and information that will help you about financial aid, scholarships, virtual college tours, uh, that sort of thing. So that's what you're gonna get on my Google Classroom, but I want you all to join and then go to the assignments and click done after you read them. This slide presentation will be on my Google Classroom. This is my website. I also keep a website with up-to-date information about scholarships and things. And that's it, techcounselor.weebly.com. And my email you see there up above the website. I also have a bulletin board out front that has all this stuff on it. If you're low tech and just want to read a bulletin board, I've got that. And I don't have pictures of the career coaches. I, I didn't get that done, but our career coaches for the county are Mr. David Holt and Miss Jessica Blaylock. That's their email right there. Uh, Miss Blaylock serves Ider, Sylvania, Fort Payne, Valley Head, and Fife. 
Uh, Mr. Holt serves Plainview, Crossville, Collinsville, Geraldine, and here at the Tech School. He's here one day a week. Um, he is also our Skills USA sponsor. Skills USA is the uh, organization for Tech School students. Uh, there are several competitions. We hope that they're in person this year. They may be virtual, uh, but all the programs compete. There's also an open and closing team. Um, lots of opportunities for you to compete and earn scholarships through Skills USA. Next up is our welding teacher. This is Mr. McFall. Welding is very popular around here. It stays full. Uh, it's very difficult to get in welding. We have to do a um, intense interview and uh, just look at your grades and your um, teacher references, uh, lots of things to make sure that you're going to be a good welding student. Most of our welding students are outstanding for that reason. Masonry, this is Mr. Scott Phillips. Mr. Phillips has a lot of industry connections in masonry. If you want to do masonry as a career, he will definitely help you out. If you're any count at all and you go through his program, uh, he can get you a job. Medical science. A lot of people call this the nursing program. Uh, that's not what it is per, per se. Uh, there are a lot of people go through this program because they want to go into nursing. Uh, we also allow students to get their CNA certification, which is Certified Nursing Assistant. Um, this is Miss Becky Reeves, and she's one of our first-year instructors. Miss Constance Stone, who is also a first-year instructor. And this is Miss Paula Carroll, who is your second-year healthcare instructor. Healthcare students are also able to compete in HOSA competitions. HOSA stands for Healthcare Occupation Students of America. It's very similar to Skills USA, but it's only for healthcare students. So they compete in both Skills and HOSA. Engineering Technologies. This used to be called Drafting and Design Technology. Uh, we are moving in a manufacturing um, way. This this last year we started changing this up a little bit to where you're actually building things. Uh, you're drawing things out on the computer, computer-aided drafting, and then uh, sending it to the 3D printer. Uh, this is the future of manufacturing. So if you want to go into engineering, this is the place for you because every engineer at this point has to know CAD or computer-aided drafting. Uh, it's also the place for you if you'd like a career just in drafting and design. Cosmetology. These are some pictures from a competition, Skills USA competition, that the uh, cosmetology students did several years ago. This lady right here is Miss Tracy Martin Sharp, and she is our cosmetology instructor. Cosmetology is a very big program here. A lot of folks in cosmetology, and they do a great job. Very talented. All right, auto mechanics or automotive service technology. This is Mr. Dennis Stiefel, right there. And you see they all have on matching shirts. The automotive uh, service technology guys, they go to competitions. Uh, there are, there's two or three different teams from our school that, that compete up in Chattanooga at a uh, competition called Hot Rodders for Tomorrow, where they build engines. And they are, uh, this is one of the teams. They, they pick out a team name, have team t-shirts made, and compete in those. Collision repair. This is painting, uh, repairing structure of a vehicle after a wreck. This is Mr. Tim Nance, the instructor wearing the uh, gas mask there. Because um, you have a lot, you know, that's the paint room. There's a lot of fumes that have to do with paint. Um, People are not going to stop wrecking their cars, so this is a great field to go into. Now, on our public safety front, we have the fire science program. This is its third year. This is Mr. Jason Brannon, who is over the fire science program. He's uh, lovingly referred to as Motor. 
the fire science students do not meet here on the Texco campus. They go to the fire hall in Rainsville, but you're transported on the Texco bus there. And uh, when you finish the fire program, if you pass all the tests, pass everything that you need to, you can be a volunteer firefighter after you complete your high school. And then you also just have a few months where you can become a uh, professional firefighter at the, the fire college. All the classes are taught through the fire college as well. All right, last but not least is our theater program. And you're like, well, what does theater have to do with Texco? Well, they are housed on our campus. Uh, you don't get a career tech credit for theater. You get a fine arts credit. But we have done some collaboration in the past with, and this is Miss Argero that's smiling right here. She's a theater, the theater um, instructor. Uh, last year, our healthcare folks and our theater folks collaborated together where the theater kids um, were assigned different diseases and symptoms that they had to present with, and the healthcare kids had to figure out uh, how to treat them and, and what to recommend. And we actually won an award for that. So we do collaborate with, with the theater. Okay, like I said, if you'll go onto my Google Classroom and add this class, I promise you won't have to do anything except just be informed. Um, you, know, you might have to fill out a survey, but that won't be anything that will be uh, for a grade. It'll just be to help us out. So we are very happy to have everybody here at the Tech Center and looking forward to a great year. And we will see you guys all on Friday.